It's Divergent Day, March 21st. As you can see, I am fully ready to go to the Divergent premiere. I'm not going with any of my friends because they're all busy. But I am going with my mom. I don't know. She wants to see the movie. I'm not gonna stop her. As you can see, I am obviously wearing my Triss tattoos. And my hair is in a ponytail like Triss has for the majority of the movie. I am set. And I will see you guys at the theater. I am back from seeing Divergent and oh my god. It's so good. It's so good. When I say it's so good, it's so good. Let me just start off by saying I have no friends. Sometimes in the fangirl life you have to go alone and fly solitary. My mom wanted to see Divergent with me, so mother-daughter bonding time, right? Ha. <sighs> anyway, when I got to the movie today, there were hardly any seats like in the IMAX theater, practically all the seats were sold out, mostly by teenage girls. If it's almost sold out, I have some hope that Divergent's gonna do pretty well and will warrant a sequel. When we went to pay for our ticket, however, I got something I did not expect at all. We got these posters, Divergent, and you can see Triss, and you can see, I'm, I think, I'm thinking that's four. We got free posters! Yes! And since my mom is not a reader, she has not read Divergent, nor does she read for pleasure, she decided to give me her freebies. And I was like, okay. I might decide to give one away since I've got an extra. Really depends on how I'm feeling about that. I'm too sentimental about my stuff. And then the second freebie we got was these freaking Divergent tattoos. Ah! Like... What? I've seen these at Hot Topic for like $8 or something. I'm like, we get these for free with our movie ticket. What? I wanted to grab more than one, but I didn't want to get caught. So my mom gave me hers again, and I'm like, yes! I don't have to draw on with eyeliner anymore. I can like just use this, but it's only like a one-time use. So I'm gonna have to like use it sparingly. This one's gonna be for Insurgent, and this one's gonna be in the Agent. I am not gonna waste them. I am saving them, so. Now that I've got my bases covered, I am going to talk to you guys about the movie, because obviously that's what you guys want to hear, right? If it's good, if it's bad, if it's horrible. The movie was exciting, and it stuck to a lot of the main points of the book. They omitted some things and changed the way some characters acted, and obviously they cut out Uriah. That's no big surprise. Everybody knew it, and everyone was in an uproar. Like, you could have fit in there, you know? But, oh, whatever. It was a good movie, and my mom, who has not read the books, she liked it. She said it was a good movie, and I, as a fan, am completely satisfied with this movie. I feel like it's going to make the series proud and will make the rest of the books into movies as well. I have complete faith that this movie is gonna do well. If it lands in the young adult's graveyard, it would be a tragedy. Shailene Woodley and Theo James surprised me. They are really great actors. Although I expected this from Theo James because like you would expect a guy of his caliber to be up on his acting skills. Shailene, I wasn't expecting much. I came in with low expectations into this movie and she completely blew me away. Like tears in her eyes when something sad happens or like her vulnerability at the beginning of the movie it was really nice to see her change from like this scrawny little girl to this girl who thinks she can save everyone the rest of the actors were quite nice too kate winslet she brought this cold clinicalness to janine and Eric was a total douchebag. And Molly, I was kind of surprised. I expected her to be more cave woman like. I don't know, what's wrong with me? Um, but she did fine. She, she was fine. A lot of the fighting sequences, especially with the ones at the training and like the ones where they are like one to one matches, those were intense. And a lot of the fighting scenes ended me cringing in my seat. I was like, oh my god, nope. 
Nope. Nope. Nope. The music, so beautiful, so beautiful. The music and the sounds, they put me into the emotion. Like, not just the scenario, the emotion. I had to ke keep back tears for numerous times in the movie because my mom was sitting right next to me. Anyway, if you still haven't seen the Divergent movie, I suggest you click out now because I am going to spoil the rest of you guys on all of the juicy little things that I have to say about this movie and it's particularly directed towards those who have seen the movie and read the book or just have seen the movie. I don't think it matters if you read the book, but I will point it out if you have not. Okay? So, bye! Okay, so spoilers, spoilers, lots of spoilers. Let me start with the big one, the ending. Like most young adult adaptations, I felt the ending was inadequate. The ending to this one, although lackluster and kind of anticlimactic, it had a little bit of foreshadowing of what was to come. It's like they were going to Amity to seek refuge, and one thing, Peter wasn't with them. Was Peter with them? I think Peter was with them, but Peter was not with them in the movie. Like, he was just left behind at the Dauntless compound. Why? Mm, I'll let it slide. The big thing that totally pissed me off was Janine and her erudite companions being in the Dauntless compound at the Intelligence Center, and Four was just sitting there like a drone and a zombie, and he was there. What was he doing there? What was his purpose? Janine and the erudite people were supposed to be back at headquarters safe and sound. That's a smart decision. And Four, why isn't he doing the Intelligence Center stuff? That's what they programmed him to do in the book. But the Four in this movie, he was just comatose until Triss came. I'm like, what? How is this making sense? And then after after that, when Triss wanted Janine to stop the simulation, it was Four who stopped it, wasn't it? Four was the one who stopped it in the book, but Shailene stabbed Janine's hand through the computer screen and Janine stopped it because she was under simulation. Never happened in the book. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I guess it would clear up a lot of things for those people who have not read the book. I feel like they just added that scene in to make use of Kate Winslet's acting ability. On to the highlights though. When Triss's mother died, and Triss's father died, all the sad music and Shailene was tearing up and like, was like, <laughs> like ugly tears, she wasn't caring about looking pretty. I missed that line in the movie where Ford d did not like say that Triss was beautiful and that she was unique. It wasn't in there. The fear simulation. Oh my god, yes. The final fear landscape. Triss's and Thor's intimate fear. Oh my god, that was hilarious. I kept laughing, and so were many of the other teenagers and book readers. They were laughing at that scene because we know what's gonna happen. Like, it's just, damn, get away from me. Nope, nope, nope. And after she got out of the simulation, Thor was, mm, you know, you know what I'm talking about. When Triss went to um, Caleb's erudite compound, and then Caleb was just like, you need to go, and I'm like, excuse me? You need to go. Spoilers for Allegiant if you have not read it, I suggest you mute it now. I was like, Caleb, you are basically the cause of Triss's death in book three. Do you really want her to go? Do you, 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 you. <sighs> The girls that I was sitting beside in the movie theater, they were annoying as heck. I understand them. If I was with my friends, I'd be whispering about things that they obviously skimmed over and glossed over in the books, but I wouldn't be talking during an emotional scene in the movie, and I hate it, I understand it, but I hate it. Have some courtesy. Can I just, like, gush about Theo James for, like, an hour or two? He's just so perfect. Yeah. His face. I want to marry his face. And his voice. And his back. <laughs> when the choosing ceremony was finished, and Triss had to go with her dauntless companions to board the train, I absolutely loved the music. It was like dun 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 It was something like that, and it was like so pumping, and like the shots of the Dauntless running, I felt like I was one of them. I was like, yes, yes! And I felt so alive at the beginning scene. I was like, I can do this. I can jump a train if I need to. I am Dauntless. Also, with Triss's mother 
saving Triss from getting shot in the head by stimulator controlled dauntless warriors. I thought Triss was supposed to be captured, Four was supposed to be captured, and then brought to Janine's headquarters where Triss would eventually try to be drowned in her fear landscape and her mother comes to save her and rescues her out of that erudite headquarters and four would be at the dauntless compound it didn't go anything like that but um i think they wanted to save time and confusion so they just cut to the chase and let the mother save her talking about the mother the mother died not really protecting tris in the book she was like you run Go find your brother and father, I will distract them for you, run. But in the movie, Triss is like, no, I got this. And then she starts shooting, and then her mom gets killed. And not, she can't say anything to her, so there's nothing really significant about her death. It's significant to Triss because it's her mother, but like, there's nothing significant about the mother. You know what I'm saying? One thing that I absolutely loved about this movie was like, all the action scenes, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it again, the action scenes are so intense. They make you feel like you're the one in pain. And like, when Triss gets knocked out by Peter, you f like feel his feet coming, like... I'm knocked out. Help me. And during the zipline, it was made so much more intense because Triss, her zipline goes wonky and she has to like, kind of avoid these obstacles on the way through the zip line and I'm like this I don't I don't think I remember this but this is new this is exciting I like it okay what's going to happen and then she stops like inches away from the wall because she pulled the brakes I'm like <sighs> did you feel that too oh my god I loved it and Thor's fear of heights is like I think this is high enough he's like you're afraid of heights aren't you and then he starts like being jokey with her because he's nervous because he's afraid of height is like are you even a human being at all <laughs> oh my god i kind of missed that they didn't include triss's six fears or that they acknowledged that she had six fears and called her six kind of missed that you know one thing that i find weird the chasm chasm it didn't really have any like rushing water i don't know if like i'm picturing this wrong or something but i always pictured the chasm or whatever to have these railings and then have like a rushing waterfall of, or rapids that wash it away and the chasm in the movie just seemed like a big cliff or an abyss. One that's completely dry and rocky. When Al died, he didn't look disgusting. He just looked beat up and dead. Not as disgusting as it would have looked like if he was beat up and drowned. You know? Overall, it was a solid movie. It touched on the fear landscapes, the choosing ceremony, the train, the training, the abnegation roundup. I really liked Theo James as for in this movie. He brought a solid character one who's like protective yet vulnerable and has fears but is not afraid to let his good side show to everybody. And he is amazing and I want him for mine. Oh. I think that's about all I can say. If you haven't watched the movie already, then watch it. If you have, watch it again. It's a good movie. I want to see the second one because I wasn't a fan of Insurgent and I hate Allegiant. I am wondering to see if they can do any better in the movies than the books. So don't forget to subscribe, share what you thought of the movie down below, and I will see you next time, which will be hopefully soon. Yeah. What am I missing? I am some missing. I'm missing something, 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 something. I was going somewhere with this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Fear lamp. The abnegation. I don't even know how to say abnegation. Abnegation. Abnegation.